go down south, but I know, I'd prefer to work with people than against them. So if you, you know, whatever you need, uh, if you've got any concerns or suggestions or whatever, I'd be very happy to listen. Bay's not wrong, yeah, by the way. And I, I appreciate you reaching about out. the license All removal. Right. I'll oh, read it out in a second. This little, little guy has to go to sleep, so I just want to get his training over with. Oh, but I'm sorry I to take your time. That's my bad. Right. No, you're Apologies, all good. Guys. You're all good. Good luck um, with the training. So I'm sure you'll be you. great. Yeah, I'll be staying in touch, all right? Okay, sounds good. Thank you for your time, Sergeant. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Guys, did I come on a bit heavy with the multiple flying ace thing? Yeah, yeah, you kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> you got to score That's the, me. You know, the new generation of cops. That's true. That's true. I kind of just sat there, I was like, uh-huh, and then she was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think that that kind of thing impresses her. She doesn't seem like she's bothered about someone shooting a plane down with a jet. That's fine, but she seems like a very nice person, so I look forward to working with her if that no, she, happens she, she, or if she's really good. She she got fucking she when she first got hired, she was like good right off the rip, so <clears throat> it sounds like you got big problems though, I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah, now <laughs> we got the state marshals breathing down our neck. Looks at dark. Hey, you shouldn't have anything to worry about, right, Pins? Yeah. I don't know. You're going to bring up me smoking weed? Oh, no, that was Malton. No, no, never mind. Was that you? Did you stitch me out for smoking weed while I was on duty? I know. I mean, if you're intoxicated on duty, it sounds like a problem, but I don't, yeah, I don't remember doing that specifically. Yeah, it's, it's all right, Pins. Dark's already interrogated me. I've been interrogated by Dark, too, but I forgot for what. Oh, this is Marshall Dark interrogated. Listen, oh, I'm wait. I remember why I Dark interrogated me. It's because I double tapped Rudy. I don't even remember. I've interrogated so many cops. It's, it'll blend yeah, in the world, I'll be honest. The thing is, we remember when you interrogate us. And you just interrogate so you and you don't remember. Yeah, I don't I remember, remember Mike. We got into a shootout. I saw, I heard Rudy making a noise while he was laying on the ground. And I just double tapped him to make sure he was down. Because I thought he was reaching. And then you yeah, said, this... why'd you do that? And yeah. I said, officer safety. And then you suspended me. Yeah. <laughs> For what it's worth, Richard, I'm glad you're finally in a position where you can do that stuff yeah and be supported i can't even yeah. how many times over the years has it been where you know i is i has started wasn't supported by the commands and therefore didn't work yeah too too many times um it's uh it's nice to yeah. it's nice to be back for a change so uh yeah it's 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 strange to be uh on the outside of the departments that are uh having all the problems for a change <clears throat> yeah uh, yeah well i i gotta go but thank you guys for uh, giving me your time i really do appreciate it um thank you for your time yeah no problem um rich yeah, i'm excited for it i need to like speak to andy um angel um at some yeah. point and get her thoughts on the mm -hmm. location stuff so i'll probably contact her regarding that at some point okay yeah um yeah if you guys have any questions or anything at all please do get in touch i'll be very happy to chat to you guys about this so all right um yeah. Um, yeah, I think hopefully if it gets more fleshed out, then we could like work it out, right? So hopefully the feds respond quick. Yeah. Oh, can you guys check somebody's record for me? Oh, we're here. Yeah. I'm kind of lazy. I know the courthouse is right there. Uh, Alex Bogorov. Does he have a record? Bogo? That's a pretty strange yeah. request. You know, he's, a good, he's a good friend of mine. What? Uh, no, no wreck. Fantastic. Not okay. even a traffic ticket. Brilliant. Good to hear. You, you so friends with that guy? Yeah, I know him from back of the day, you know. Uh, um, I think, um, That's a piece reason of I ask is... What? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I remember that guy shooting up a bunch of police back in the day. <clears throat> yeah, well. Never met A lot of people did, Richard, honestly. Yeah, they were... Anyway, I gotta make a, I gotta make this phone call. Uh, I'll, I'll, it's good to see you, Snow. Good to see you, guy. Pinjon, you, you yeah, stay listen, out of trouble, Richard, okay? What I'm saying is, flop, flop, stop being an officer, so he can start shooting cops too soon. You never know. <laughs> I'm never gonna shoot cops, by the way. It's not me. I'm just saying, Dark. You might need to investigate your side. Good morning. Uh, hello, this is uh, State Marshal Richard Dog. How can I help you? 
Oh, okay. Um, so I need to talk to you. Um, I'm aware. So like, listen, the sass can be turned down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, I just yeah, yeah I apologize. How, how can I help? Mm -hmm. you? So uh, three days ago, that's right, three days ago, I put in a report in regards to being beat by one of your toxic one of the um lspd members and i put it into the marshal because i believe that there's corruption okay? okay and the fact that i have tried to make this report with the lspd and none of them gave a shit so i had to bring it to you guys because at least you're calling me back unlike them okay. so carmine costello i'm sure you've heard that name around. i have heard that name quite a few times vic Hanna as well and I also want to point out that Denzel Shiesty is also on the list. Okay. Right. Yes. So if you, I don't even know if there's a report in there because I don't think that any of you guys give a shit about normal civilians. Uh, you know, if I was a criminal. Do, we, we give, a, we give absolutely give many a shit about you, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. Well, then prove it. So anyway, um, as I don't know if you read the report. Did you? I, I I don't know what report you're referencing. Well, don't you have my name? Uh, what's your name, ma'am? You tell me. Tell me your name. Nora Steele. It should have been in. You know, I added my name to the three one one. I said Steele with uh, two E's in the middle. Is and an E at the end. Yeah. What would it be? Stella. Stel Stella. Okay, of I'm gonna need you to turn that e. sass down a couple of notches. Listen, you please. started it, and that set me <laughs> off on a whole tangent of, you know, look at this another another man talking to me in a disrespectful manner. No, no, no. I, listen, listen. I apologize, ma'am. I, I can't, okay. I can't actually see this report. I can see this report. Yes. Okay. okay don't so apologize. Just it was, don't let it, it was, happen again. Okay, I apologize. Sorry, mm -hmm. I didn't mean to apologize. I, I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. taken by Leah Strong. Is that correct? <clears throat> That's right. The sweetest woman in the whole world. Yes. Okay. So, by the looks of it, you were you were about to pass out in the food court, and two officers came up to you screaming. You slip and fall because you were lightheaded. You scratched the officer in the face. Um, you apologize, and then Vic Hannett took out his baton and beat you up, and Carmen, Carmine joined in. They both beat you up, and, uh, okay. Yeah, that's you, exactly. Mm -hmm. They called you a dirty skank. Yeah. Yes, they sure did. Well, that was Carmine <laughs> Costello. Um, Vic, Hannah. <sighs> so when I accidentally slipped and I fell and, you know, my hand landed on his face, um, with my freshly manicured um, nails, and I may have scratched him. You know, I said, I'm so sorry, but, you know, he was already in, like, fight or flight mode, which I get. And he took out a baton, though, which was, like, really excessive considering, you know, I am a frail and innocent woman. Like, why is he mm -hmm. taking out a baton? Like, is he scared of me? Um, anyway, so he bashed me over the head with that. But um, he stopped and as me and him started a conversation, Carmine just took it upon himself to punch me in the face afterwards um, for no reason. Just just did it, you know, like he was like, hmm, this this is perfect. Let me let me also punch her in the face. Um, so anyway, you can imagine how I felt afterwards after being starving and trying to get some food from the food court and then getting beat up by these two men like gang banged. You know, like, excuse me, I didn't consent to being gang banged, okay? Um, and then, yeah, so I went to go take a report, give it to this girl, um, what was her name? Uh, fuck, it should be in the report. Some, Mar some, Leah I forget her name. Oh, no, no, it was a senior officer because they directed oh. me to her. Okay, so you gave a report to a senior officer. Yep. Oh, Maxwell. And then, Maxwell. Maxwell. Thank you, Maxwell. Yeah, so we were, um, I took the report to her and she started taking, you know, notes and Denzel Shiesty was there. Um, and uh, after I was like explaining the situation, Denzel goes, I'm glad you got beat up. I am glad that you got punched. To which I gasped, like, <gasps> excuse me? 
Oh my god. Yeah. Like, was that even necessary and professional no, in all. any way? I'm professional. No. Yeah. And and completely rude. Um, granted, I, you know, was like, Denzel, wow, what a great cop. He's so awesome. And then that was his response. Anyway, so when I was giving the report to the senior officer, um, she, I know there was a couple beeps going off. Okay. I know that that's priority, but then she goes, I'm going to erase the report. Um, and you can give it back to just an officer, not a senior officer. So I was like, okay, so now I have to go back and do the whole thing again. So anyway, I just feel kind of useless. You know, if I was a criminal, they'd probably pay more attention to me. But since I'm just an innocent civilian, then, you know, fuck me, I guess, I guess, being beat up by two officers with no, you know, like completely unarmed is no big deal in Los Santos. Okay. That's what I feel like. That's, uh, okay. That's, that was, So yeah. I'm going to take this to court and I'm going to sue. And so if you guys can, I don't know, maybe do something about it or, you know, not throw away my report because I bet you guys weren't even going to look at my report. I had to call. It's been three days. I'm sure. Listen, I, I haven't seen the report, but I'm sure there's a lot of other motions that might be looking into this already. That's not true. Why is that not true, Matt? Because they said they would call me the next day and I never received a call. And then it became two days and now it became three days. Okay. Uh, well, listen, I, I will personally uh, make sure this is looked into for you, Miss uh, Steele. Okay. So, uh, you, my name is uh, Richard Dark. That's D-A-R-K. My badge uh -huh. number is 009. Okay. I will make sure this is looked into uh, today uh, and someone's going to be working on this. Okay. So, um, I, will, I will look into this. All right. I just want to let you know, I'm suing Carmine. Okay. Okay. I mean, listen, you, who, whatever you do in civil court is none of my business. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Do you have a right to sue anybody you like? That is, that is how the, the system works. Okay. Just making sure you know. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for looking into it. I expect a call pretty soon here. Okay. Can I just check something, Mister? You said you went to speak to another officer, um, but did they actually take the report? The other officer? No. That's why I had to go to the marshal office. So, what did the other officer say to you? So, um, I talked to the one. Okay. So, I t I talked to the one officer. I don't remember his name. Um, and I was telling him I needed to make a report. And he tells me, oh, I'm just an officer. I'm sorry, I can't take that type of report. You have to go to a senior officer. So when I go to the senior officer and then she tells me I have to go back to that officer and tell her about the report, which I'm like, okay, well then you just said I can't take, you know, like he can't take the report because he's an officer. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go around this ring around a rosy bullshit. And I'm just going to go to the marshals because honestly, it just feels like they don't give a shit. So... Okay. That's why right. I, I didn't go back to that officer. I just went to the marshals. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, uh, thank you very much for calling, Miss Steele. I'll uh, put this at the top of my list, okay? Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. You know what? All the shootouts and all that shit, not important, okay? Me, I'm important. I'm important, okay? okay. Uh, Nora okay. Steele, don't forget. I won't forget it. But, oh. All right. Bye, ma'am. Okay, this is a problem uh, because this was a civilian report taken by Leah Strong. And if Leah didn't actually go to a marshal and tell us, then that's like fine because she might not be around, right? But the issue is that like this wasn't made a marshal report. So I, I only look for marshal reports. Maybe that's on me. Maybe I've got to start looking for tags and doing marshal reports like doing the tag for marshall ah maybe i should be doing this because there's another one from yesterday wait what the fuck what is this wait actually no bobby charles isn't hide is he
Oh my god, he is. <laughs> Bobby Charles called me to rent a property of mine. He was sold 10k per person. He was told 10k per person per week. He then said he would talk to his brother Carmine and call him back. He called back for, uh, to ask for a $9 million loan. And then when he denied, asked if he would help him embezzle money with the mayor. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I need to start looking at these fucking state master tag reports, man. I really need to start doing this. Because <clears throat> there's another one. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I th I think a few things need to happen. Okay, oh, this is an interest. So the fucking prism are coming out of their shell a little bit. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Here we go, get to work. Um, right, I'm gonna link that report. What reports this? Nope, not what I'm doing. Okay. We need to do a few things. There's a few things that need to happen here. I've already lost that report. Hold on. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a little think about this. Um, this seems like this seems like a okay. There's no command report. There's no senior report. There's nothing from Haley. There's nothing from Ventura. So it does seem like she tried to do this the proper way and nothing got done for it. So I do kind of feel bad for a little bit. Um, so normally I'd be like, this isn't a Marshall thing. That's what my first instinct would be. Is that this isn't a Marshall thing. I'm going to make a Marshall report for this and link this in. <clears throat> But when PD does nothing about it themselves, that's what I mean. Like, if PD's doing nothing to police themselves, then that's when the marshals have to step in, right? They kind of. It was on the 12th. I'm going to copy and paste that in. But it took so long for Ryan to get shot. I know, right? Uh, so, yeah, I think someone needs to take this. But the issue is, um, this was a... The report was made at 2200. Um... 
Let's see if there was an EMS report for Nora Steele. Doesn't look like it. She's just a sieve, I think. Like, I literally think she's just a sieve. What's going on with Prism? Um, I'll be honest, it's kind of uh, escalated. Um, she doesn't even have a profile. She literally doesn't even have a profile. Um, it's escalated. So, Dark has sent back the text. The so Dark has been investigating. Uh, he's attempted to join under an alias, or well, he hasn't even got to the alias part, but he's going to capture the flag on their website uh, and managed to find all the missing pieces and has sent them a text message with a burner sim. Then we came back, looked into Prism, found out that they've got a... <clears throat> a new... Um, like... Uh, code on the website which basically is like uh who are we um and under that it does in fact say uh we're not afraid of the law and we're not hesitant to do anything to get our message across this includes committing acts of terror um so they have I, they've escalated um they've definitely escalated oh hold on Sorry, I'm 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 squirreling so hard and you don't have to tell me. You do not have to remind me how hard I am squirreling right now. Like cuz I'm a, I'm aware uh but I'm doing it anyway. I'm going to copy this, put this in here, clear formatting, and then I can change, oh my god, I can do this, sir. this is amazing. Okay, what color is the text, sir? I think it's just the pink, right? Yup. It's gonna work. Uh. <gasps> I can fucking do it. I can do prism stuff. Uh. No. <laughs> Shit. I'm going to unhighlight this. <laughs> How do I unhighlight this bit? Wait, I squared a little bit. Uh, okay. Stay motion, Doc. How can I help? Hey, Doc. It's Maeve. Oh, hey, Maeve. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, do you want to come down to Master's office, sir? I can, yeah. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. All right. No worries. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Perfect. Uh, Maeve is coming to speak to us about a couple of things. I need to speak to Maeve about Bancroft Shooter being leaked. Um, uh, but mainly it's about the phone. Um, but it also might just be because, oh, it was the shared report, right? Yeah, it's a bit of a combo situation. <clears throat> but 
bit of a combo situation, yeah. Yeah, I wanted this song. How easy would it be for me to do this formatting now? The fuck? Did it just do it automatically? Ain't no way. Wait. Hold on. Am I adopting the fucking prism text? Can I do mono text? How do I do that? Can I copy and paste mono text into here? Like mono spaced? No, I can't. <laughs> Hey, I mean, I can do this though. I got my fucking prism. <laughs> my, what, what what would you call this? My fucking prism style in all my reports now. I don't know. Do I like it? Kind of. Be there soon, got local. Oh, hold on. Where is she? Oh, Hello. God, mate. Where, where are you? <laughs> I'm on San Andreas um, by North Rockford Drive. San Andreas and North park. Rockford. Okay, I'll be there shortly, all right? All right, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have you done RP in other games like Gmod or Armor? I did a little bit of. Uh, RP on armor, no pixel. Um, but it did not fit me at the time. I was just a wee lad, uh, and um, I didn't do it for very long. I tried it out, but I couldn't get into it. I did it for like a, a few weeks. Um, yeah, I, I really couldn't sink my teeth into it too much. I did Milsim, if you count that as RP. And Armor 3. You can't mill sim. Hey, mill sim's cool, dude. One of my favorite things about Milton though was uh actually running the the missions. Uh, I used to Zeus the missions. I used to be a Zeus operator. Uh, were you some wild RP? Yeah, we did wild RP for a bit. Not too long. We went we went through a short spin of wild RP. <clears throat> Brenda. This highlights a world up It probably is, yeah. Gem is the master of highlights. Uh, mistress of highlights. Mistress doesn't quite have the same. I mean, it does. I never did Zeus and I prefer to be a squatty. I love Zeusing because I think it's because I'm a dun like I'm a DM, right? I love being like 
I love providing interesting scenarios for players to like figure shit out. And I think, because I don't think I'd actually run any D and D by that point. This is actually really interesting to think about. So, for those who don't know what I'm saying at the minute, um, back in Armor Three. So Milsim is basically, you get like 30, 40 people and you are all essentially role playing as a uh, military and you're going into an operation where you have an objective and you will have ranks, kind of like the PD, um, and you'll have ranks and objectives and you'll have goals and you'll have different weapons and you'll have like, you might have, you might be, you know, one of you might be a scout and you might, or you might just be a squaddy in like a in a platoon you might be like in the first platoon in two two squad i can't actually remember what the fuck i was in i forgot everything i'll be honest um but then the people who make the operations live put in the enemies because they're all ai enemies um and that's what i used to do I, I used to i didn't do it very often like crazy often uh but you like live drop them like from an aerial view and you like place them down live and you can like go in and control them too um so i think like this was my first taste of being a dm was like dropping down enemies and then like drawing out patrol routes and they'd follow it and then like putting down apcs and shit down on fucking hills and shit oh dude it was so good it was so good like i used to control like civilians now i think this is one thing that nobody else did and i think that's why people enjoyed me as a zeus was because i would fucking role play as the civilians and i'd come up and like talk to them and shit and give them like interesting situations <clears throat> i think i role played once as a civilian who had like been strapped with a bomb um and they had to fight like figure that situation out oh here's me but it was kind of crazy. I actually didn't realize this was you, mate. Until I drove past that. How the hell did you end up here? I got badly local. And I don't have any repair kits. Because I haven't, you know, been around. Here you are. Nice call, though. Thank you. I do love my muscle cars. I would never get a gauntlet, though. I'm not like that. All these disgusting little creatures there. They've been holding up anyway. Um, I've been alright. I haven't really been around much, so uh, I've just been, you know, taking time, relaxing. Yeah. Not really doing much. Yeah. How about you? Busy. You know, keeping busy. Uh, a lot of work, you know. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, but uh you know i've heard all secondhand information but um i'd rather hear it from the horse's mouth um what, what, what made you uh what made you leave that a lot of stuff really let me give you one of these in case uh, anything happens again oh thank you um Biggest factor, um, I just didn't like the state of the PD, how it was. Yeah. Um, not that I wouldn't go back though, you know, I love my job as a cop, but um, it just, I don't know, it was getting a bit much. Yeah, that's uh, it's understandable. Then, obviously, everything with Riker happened, so mm -hmm. just felt like a good time to... Take a step back. Hey, you always gotta uh, do what's right for you in the end, at the end of the day. So, uh... well, yeah. Hey, let's uh, we can talk more down at the office, but uh, let's get, let's get down there and get out the the side of the road. Right. I'll meet you down there. All right, thank you. If I don't do crime with this bomb now, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Thanks to Zeus and Armour, I've had the most Scottish Vietnamese civilians ever. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Yeah, 
Yeah, honestly, if I didn't do Milsim, I probably wouldn't have ever got into D&D because the first real D&D &D game I played was with the people that I did Milsim with. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. Like, if you compare it to the D&D &D I play and enjoy now, it's very different. Like, if you compare, like... Like, it was very, um... It was very hack and slash. Like, it was very... Like, a, if, if you've ever heard of, like, a West Marches D&D &D game, it was very similar to that. But, like, it was still a consistent group every week. But it was very much, um... Go here, kill this thing. Go to this dungeon, keep killing these things, keep killing these things. Go to this map. You know, tell me where you want to go. Go to this place. Um, and it was very much that kind of thing. And then obviously now I'm very much, you know, story, role play. You know, I'm a nerd, right? Um, but I wouldn't change it for anything because like Devils who comes in here. Uh, I did Milson with him and I played D&D &D with him in my first ever, like, it technically wasn't my first ever D&D &D session uh, or my first ever D&D &D game. I did technically do one before that, but I, I literally forgot it was D&D &D because it was not good. And I would never hold it against the guy, but it just wasn't good and I forgot it was D&D. &D. But yeah, Devils was in that session and we still talk about that session because like it was like it was memorable. Like, I'll never forget it. Like, I remember the character. It was, I played a dwarf fighter um, called Ungar. And I will never forget that character. A bad DM can sell you on D&D. That's exactly what happened to me. I was... I had a... Listen, I had a young DM. I will say that. I was in secondary school. It was probably... I'm going to... I'll put this in grade. It's like year nine, so ninth or tenth grade. Um, and I had uh, a friend who got the starter set for Christmas. Um, and... Or a birthday or something. And so they ran a game for us at their house and there was like eight of us there. Uh, that would be like 14, 15. Yes. Yeah. Um, and they ran a game for us at their house. Um, and it was very like, so it was the uh, Lost Minds of Fandelva. Um, and I remember the session, like now that I think back on it, but it was like it was all pre-made characters and it wasn't explained very well and the dm didn't know the rules very well and i didn't obviously know the rules um so it was very like i don't really know what i'm doing here i hadn't heard of dnd &D before um and so it was all just like you know this was fun and then i just didn't didn't i just forgot about it like it was one of those all right my blush uh, you got any weapons on you um just my own 1911 and knife okay can i just uh take this off you before we go through well <laughs> yeah there you go perfect let's go okay so uh before we get started today i'm just gonna kind of preface and have a chat to you about what we're going to talk about so this is going to be about the um because you remember when well, you, uh, when madison bancroft was shot and and killed in that situation with police uh, yeah okay so it's about that situation uh i'm just going to ask you some questions um this is kind of two situations merged into one from my side of things Mm -hmm. uh that i want to get some clarification on that have both happened after the fact um and it's more just getting clarification you're not at all in any um yeah i'm not concerned about you like in 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 like a, 
I'm not investigating you, I guess is the point here, that you're here mm -hmm. voluntarily for an interview to help me get some information about these cases, all right? <clears throat> yeah um i will say obviously uh you know i'm just saying this going in and i'm putting my hands up i'm you know i this isn't i'm just gonna throw this out there if it does turn that i do need to if i feel like i need to investigate you during this i'll, I'll pause into you and i'll mirandize <laughs> okay. you um but i'll just you know i don't think that's gonna happen yeah, you're fine, uh, you're fine. yeah okay all right i'm just gonna set up a little recording device all right <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okie dokie, this is uh, State Marshal Richard Dark. This is the, it's the 15th of August 2024. This interview is going to be commencing at 12.42 British Summertime. I'm joined by, could you state your name for the record please ma'am? <clears throat> Perfect. Alright Maeve, well first of all thank you for coming, I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, just like I said before the interview, let me get my notepad out. <clears throat> uh we are going to be talking about um the incident uh well events surrounding the incident in which uh madison bancroft was shot and fatally injured um so could you just i guess just i'll open i'll ask you a, a broad question here do you do you, can you just recall the events of that day to the best of your recollection uh yeah um i remember i was on duty at mrpd and this was just after everything that happened with um madison and jessica um we had caught them for the odessa thing um and madison i think put in a 911 from vinewood somewhere in vinewood that there was somebody trying to attack her, I think. Um, and I was just about to get on my way to respond. Um, some other units were already on the way. And then as I was just leaving MRPD to respond to it, another 911 came in from Jessica, um, Jessica Springfield, <clears throat> Madison's friend. And it was at Legion Square, the tall building with the garden rooftop. Um, she 911 that there was a state marshal who had been, who, who, who was either in danger or stabbed. I, I can't remember. Um, so, because I was just leaving MRPD, I went straight there because there was already units for the Vinewood 911. Um, the 911s came in like, one minute after the other, I believe. Um, so they were, you know, most likely um, planned. Um, I got to the Legion Square building and somebody, I can't remember which officer it was, but one officer went up to the top already. And I stayed down uh, on the ground level to make sure no one was sort of escaping down any of the staircases. Um, the officer that went up to the top, um, I believe, I, I, I can't remember if they found Jessica up there or not. It was quite a while ago now. Um, but they found a state marshal, I believe it was Daisy Dukakis, um, downed or stabbed up there on the roof. I can't remember if they saw Jessica up there or not, but I remember from my point of view, I started going up the stairs and that's when I found Jessica coming down. Um, she didn't have a mask on. I recognized her. And then she ran all the way down straight past me. I tried to chase her and then she got into a car um, at the street level and drove away. And I wasn't able to pursue her. Okay. 
Uh, what happened after that? I believe after that, uh, Daisy was taken to the hospital. Um, we got her transported to the hospital. And while I was at the hospital, I saw Madison there in a hospital bed. Um, and the doctors on duty at the time uh, pronounced her dead. Do you remember what doctors were on doing? I don't, I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, do you remember what officers were present? Um, King, for sure. Um, there was... There was another officer there. I Maybe Dana Blackwell? Maybe? I, I think I remember hearing their voice. But I'm unsure on that one might okay. have been someone else okay did you um so okay what happened after that so you you saw madison um, in hospital she was pronounced dead what happened after she was taken into the uh sort of icu like long long term um rooms for visitation um i I had just finished up a whole investigation on Madison and uh, caught her for the um, kidnapping of Odessa and Sydney Harper. So um, I stayed behind at the hospital. Um, there was a few people that came to see Madison. And uh, I think it was Natasha Russell that came to see her. Um, she was very angry that um, Madison was dead. She came in the ICU ward. Um, she spoke to some doctors. The doctors said that she was shot and she was dead. They didn't, and I think the doctors, I remember the doctors told me they didn't tell her who shot her because they didn't want to cause any, you know, cause a scene. Um, but Natasha was very adamant on asking people, like the doctors, who uh, shot Madison. Um, she were, Natasha was in Madison's room talking to her, to her body. Um, and I was about to leave. Um, so I just wanted to go in and say to Natasha that, you know, I'm sorry for her loss. Um, there was somebody else in the room. I don't know his name, though. Um, just another visitor from Madison. And um, I, I was speaking to Natasha said I was sorry for her loss and, and all that stuff. She asked me what happened. Um, obviously, I wasn't going to tell her that it was King that shot um, Madison. But, you know, I didn't want her to, to think that Madison had gotten herself into, like, I don't know, some gang fight or whatever. So I said that she tried to attack an officer, which is the truth. Um, I didn't say which officer. Um, I just said she tried to attack an officer and officers had to chew her down. And Natasha was unhappy about that. She didn't really like uh, get like crazy angry about it, but she she definitely seemed like mad, you know, like in a calm way, if that makes sense. Like, she didn't say much, but I could tell she was mm -hmm. mad. Yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, I understand. Okay. And then, did you leave after that? Uh, yeah, after that I left. Okay. Did anything else happen? That of note to do with you and 
Madison? Did you, you know, you just go back to your normal duties after that? Uh, yeah, that day, I believe, um, I helped put out the warrant for Jessica for stabbing Daisy. Um, oh, it was Espinos. I think it was Espinos that um, went up to the top of the Legion Square building because I remember I had mm -hmm. to remind him about uh, extending the warrant for her. Okay. Um, so... Uh, me and Espinos put out the warrant for Jessica. Nothing really happened that day. I, I don't think anything of significance, not that I remember. Um, I don't know how long after, but a while after that. Um, somebody warned me. I, I wish I could remember who it was. Are we talking the same day or, or no, after? No, no, no. Like ooh, ages after, like maybe a week or two after. A week after. Um, I think, yeah, like a week or two after, I, I think it was Odessa I was talking to. You can take that if you need. Carry on. Um, I think it was Odessa I was talking to. Um, I think she told me... Hang on, I'm trying to remember the name. Oh my god, the name is... Um, I think it's Maggie Gunn, I think. Um, right. So she was warning me about Maggie Gunn for some reason. Um, I believe Maggie Gunn was friends with the ADMC or something. Um, and... Apparently, I think Maggie and Madison were close. I really hope I'm remembering this right because otherwise I'm just confusing names. Um, but she told me that somebody was looking for King. Somebody was trying to like get revenge for what happened to um, Madison. And she was warning me about Maggie Gunn because Maggie was friends with Madison. Um, and I asked her how she knew. And she told me that an officer had told... Who was it? I can't... God, I can't for the life of me remember. Um... An officer had told there's a there's an ex officer who's really close with Madison. Who's the British officer that left? Uh, the girl. I always confuse her with Charlotte Spade. Um, um, does it begin with an L? I think so. Oh my god, I can't. My it's on tip of my tongue. Louise? Yes, Louise Campbell. Apparently she's really close with Madison. Um, apparently an officer told Louise what happened. And then Louise, I believe, told Madison's friends. And that's how they found out it was King. That's what Odessa told me. And Did Odessa mention what was... officer that was? Like which I officer think I, 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 I think I know, but I really don't want to say the wrong name just in case I'm wrong. Um, okay, I mean, I, I'm not gonna going off like going off like maybe thirty percent of my memory here. I think it was Jimmy Frost, but I could be wrong. I believe I told there was a marshal at the time looking into it. I think it was Daisy. I think I told. Maybe I t did I tell Daisy about it? I might have told Anita about it. Oh my god, I wish I could remember. Um, no, Daisy was the one that gave me the book. That's a separate thing. I think I told Anita. You told Anita because Anita's 
told me yes. what, as yeah, well. Yeah, there so. we go then. Yeah, it was Anita. Okay, so what did Odessa say about this officer that you think might be Jimmy Frost? How did Odessa know that it was Jimmy? Um, either she was in the ICU ward when it happened and she saw it. I think she was in there and she saw it. Um, or another doctor told her maybe, but I, I believe she saw it. She was in there, I think. Right, okay. <clears throat> Okay. Um, all right. Any anything else you want to add now? Um, no. I think that's most of the events that happened. Um, okay. I haven't heard from Jessica since. Okay. First question that's going to be nice and easy to clear up: Did you search Madison Bancroft? Um, I don't think, I, I don't remember. I, I know I dealt with a lot of deaths around that time. Um, I did a lot of searching of dead bodies <laughs> in that month alone. Um, yeah, I don't know if I did Madison though, because it wasn't me that was dealing with right. the situation. I just sort of hung back to... Um, to sort of make sure nothing crazy happened in the ICU. Did you see anybody going through her pockets when you were in the ICU? Or... Not, no, not like like robbing her. No. Okay. Wait, so you can't remember if you were the, you can't remember whether you're not you searched her or not. Um, okay. It, Hang on. I'm trying to remember. Um, it might have been me. I'm trying to... Because there was actually so many deaths that month that I'm, I might be confusing it with another death. Um, but I don't think any of the other deaths I dealt with... Oh, wait. No, maybe I was... No, I think I searched... I think I'm thinking of Elizabeth Doyle when she died. I No, okay. I don't think I searched Madison. You don't think you did, okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm not actually um, sure who did. Yeah. Uh okay. Um all right, so that's that part of there's one prong down. Um, I, I guess uh, just to push a little bit further, did you end up regarding that whole incident with the incident report? Did you did you go into the evidence locker? Like, did you put anything in the evidence locker? I know this is very. Uh, it was a long. It was a bit of a, t a time ago, so I understand if you can't remember. I don't think I did. No. Yeah, because you didn't have anybody in custody, right? But was, I guess uh, it might have. You know, I'm, well, I guess well, that was a two-pronged question because if you had searched Madison and got, like, her things off her person, then you might have put them in the evidence locker. And if I asked you that question, you might have remembered something. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, okay. uh, so, yeah, that's ruled there. All right, the second part of the question. So you've already kind of given me most of this anyway. Um, so... <clears throat> you spoke to Odessa. Um, did she approach you about this incident? Uh, with um, the whole incident? Yeah, okay. um, yeah, like the the week or two after it happened. Yeah, she, mm -hmm. I think she called me. Um, I think she was warning me because she knew somehow that uh, I, I think it was Maggie Gunn um, was like threatening to do something about what happened to Madison. Right. Okay. So you didn't, you haven't told anybody that King was the one that shot Madison and killed Madison. No, no. Okay. Um, do I, you I, like, I, I saw, I saw that the people like in his, in 
Madison's uh, ICU room were clearly upset and saying his name to them would have just made them go get their revenge and I don't want King to get hurt. Yeah. And you said that there were doctors in the ICU that day. Do you remember any of their names? Uh, maybe Natalia Omar. I, I'm 